What I change about my life is try to have a better conduct. Wish I can stop being bad in school or get my grades back up. Get my parents on death. I don't know, just to give them a chance to hear what's going on in the world, stuff like that. Like, for them to actually, they, they, they already know what's going on in the world, but for them to actually hear what's going on instead of, like, saying why's. I moved to a better neighborhood. Yeah, why? You don't like the city? I don't like that. And plus, I got a four-year-old sister, and she like playing, and I don't want her to go outside one day. And then I don't see it no more. I would say the majority of the kids uh, live in rental housing that is not in good shape. Um, the majority of the kids have active addiction among family members, and it's often their mom. I think that's what makes our program unique is that we're willing to go and knock on those doors and go down those blocks that. Um, that to the uninitiated are pretty frightening places. Um, one of the uh, objectives of the Tender Bridge is to close the gap between those that can provide services to the kids and the kids themselves because they don't have parents who really are funct functioning uh, in, a, in a way that makes it easy for them to know where resources are, where programs are, to take their children there, to get them signed up, to be on time, to transport them. So recruiting is really a function of going and picking up kids for one sports activity and asking kids uh, there if they would be interested in whatever the next activity is that's coming up. Hey, Troy, how are you doing? You ready? Mm -hmm. Can he go with me? Uh, who's he? My cousin, Saki. You, what's your name? Saki. Say it again. Please, Saki. Saki? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. I think so, because Taiwan's not coming, so we'll have a little extra room today. Now, where's his mom? Let, let, let me go hey, talk to his mom. Come on, come on. Who's watching you? Who's watching you? Who's watching you? Okay. Your mom is watching him? Yeah, that's my aunt. Okay, that's your aunt. Okay. That's my nephew. Okay. My okay, if he comes with us? Yes. Okay. 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 Whose mouth face is down here? No, that, um, somebody do that like when your doctor's off. Oh. Dang, y'all really got a camera in here. Y'all know it's me all day. Oh, yeah. I got my skates. You know that socks on. You know we put my skates on. You got socks on? Yeah. Go back there. Go back there. Go back there. From my perspective, it's always a good time. Um, but I love to watch the kids because uh, these kids are capable of learning absolutely anything at all. If they see someone in their peer group who's accomplished at a particular activity, they will all want to get to that level as quickly as they possibly can. When we take kids out who've never seen a sheet of ice before and put them in a very strange feeling set of skates and turn them loose, they almost never fall down. They're certainly not scared. They take off right away. No one holds onto the boards. Um, and they're smiling the whole time. In my experience as a hockey coach and as a skating instructor, I can tell you, the kids that grow up in comfortable circumstances who are used to feeling safe all of the time um, can be made to feel ill at ease and unsafe very easily, particularly in a circumstance like that. So one of the sort of perverse advantages that these kids have is that they live in circumstances that cause them to be pretty, pretty fearless kids in the world at large.
Squat sessions are, are something that we started a couple of years ago. And um, it's a, a chance to, for the kids to, it's sold to the kids as a chance to do team building. And it's really a chance to form a little bit of a sense of family. I'm going to go around and read it for you. I'm Neon Noel, Ricky Reddy, Pandoria, Pandoria, Pretty, Pretty. Whoa, that's going to be a mouthful to say. How much more? Easy going Earl, Iconic Ian, and Determined Dasha, Thinking Tyres. Winner Willie, yeah. Winner Willie, like that one. Mindful. And Mindful Mark, Ready Robert, Delightful Dion, and Blessed Brenda. I'm Delightful Dion, you know I think the Delightful Dion is so delightful. Why are you put Pony Hot? We'll do that. Top notch. Our squad sessions are done in kind of a game format, so. We'll do um, word games, uh, true-false contests. We'll give out little prizes, um, all intended to promote the kids to respond to questions or observations about things that can go on in their life. <laughs> I want my dollar, yo. You don't get my dollar next day, I'm gonna kill you. Die right there. Um, some people dumb with it. You shoot a police, you know you're gonna get caught. Any other stuff. People just dumb in this world. Then next day they die. Next day the other people die, and everybody else die. A lot of people die now. Either get shot, hospital, or beat up, ranked over, losing a lot of blood. Something like that, but I just don't want to be in there. I want to move away from everybody, be by my own self. We got piles of things for him to do. We got, I have a basketball hoop out in the driveway, so we do basketball. We have piles of bikes, you know, football gear, baseball gear, lacrosse gear, roller blades. We got some tennis rackets. The bag in the back has life jackets and swimming trunks. The black bag is swimming trunks. I got probably 40. 40 or 50 pairs of swimming trunks. I do a sailing program this summer. And then we have more bikes under the porch. That's, that's where they're supposed to be hung up, but they don't always get hung up. Well, come on in. Oh, when you got the old niggas. Oh, guys, we have a pair of. Tim's. Oh, these are nice. Hey, 
I'm about to get these others are about done. Two. No, can I get one note? Yeah. No number. No number. Oh, no, there's some in there. There's some in there. Uh, look behind middle shelf, behind the big pot, spaghetti pot. Pull the spaghetti pot out. Oh, but it got warmed up. No can have a cola? No. It's juice, nigga. Look at that juice. Drink juice because the colas are going to keep you up all night. I can warm it up, no? Uh, no, that doesn't warm up good. I'll put, I'll wait my, I'll make my own. You want a bowl? Yeah. Here, this is a good bowl. Yeah, gotta hate until I'm like that. Bang, bang, bang. You got a spoon? Stop me, nigga. I'm just call me the, I'm not one of those things. I'm a African American. I know. You're trying to say that. Black African American. Let me turn it in. There's some spoons. Dig, dig, come on, D. Come on, get a mess, D. Come on, two. Hold on, two. look at my recipe real quick. Dude. Yeah, we got eight people. The recipe. Six people. Ketchup and mustard. And we'll see how they go. Take First two, bowl. and then we'll go from there. I got a hate and talk like that. And the see the pepper. We ain't, never, we ain't never tried pepper, did we? Nope. I just tried no, that. chill. All right, who is it? Don't look at that pepper, nigga. No, ain't no salt. Nothing like salt, nigga. We got salt. Don't want any salt in there, though. Food sandwich. Put the mayonnaise in there, y'all. Somebody nigga. who gets interviewed gets the sandwich. That's okay, come on. Working. You ready? I don't want that mean bad boy. Have you gotten anybody yet? I'm starving. <laughs> you know. okay. Hold on, guys. guys. We're trying to get some interviews done here. We make a sauce. What do you think? Alright, that's it, cause I don't wanna mess with hats. Yeah. This stuff is really good. Really good. It's called the no wacken sauce. No wacken. No, that's Rell sauce. Rell sick. Called the Terrell Williams sauce. Recipe. Yeah. What's my favorite food? Chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. And macaroni and cheese. And corn. Corn. And mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes with gravy. Gravy. Extra gravy. No, homemade gravy. Homemade. And a Sprite. Sprite. Make movies, you gotta have the butter style popcorn. The butter dab dab. You know. Crabs. Don't got much in the man. You don't have to see They're that. all really good kids. Yeah. It's just that they've all had a lot of bad shit happen to them. What I think is important for people who care about this city and the people that live in it, particularly children, is to understand that if they encounter younger people who don't conform to what they might think would be behavior that makes them feel comfortable, is to try to understand, to try to gain an even better understanding than they might already have uh, of just what goes on in their lives. Um, we see it portrayed in the newspaper from time to time. 
people sometimes go on about television shows that portray the plight of some of these kids. But I think sometimes it's just too easy to satisfy yourself by reading an article or watching a TV show and thinking that you've gained an understanding about their circumstances um, without developing a real first-hand appreciation for what they're up against. Where they at? I think they lost. I don't think they on my level. Little well, mama think I'm a Bible with this alligator swag. Hey, 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 with this little beginning. I'm feeling from the game. But who I want to feel different? Get a hurricane. When it be. Everybody used to sit around in your mouth and never since I got the hey, baby. I've been running this show. I'm in the club hollering, hey, baby. Hey, hey, baby. It's a boost. It's what about those who keep that, keep that who's holler, hey, baby. 187 to 11 on my side of town, everybody riding around. Hey, baby, hey, baby. Yeah. Oh, my bucket full of Gustav, eating a pita. What oh, about they halt and tatting where well, they throw that cheese up? I've been about my paper. I've been about my style. They don't like that dirty mouth. Then you got a white man. Yeah, okay. My daddy got a 40 Glock, and boy, he make your heart stop. Two you bending shots, and then his drawers crack. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in a coma, and what that boy got, uh...